TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. We are live. Damn. <laughs> But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. It's a warning stream. Doubt that we need it, but just in case. Twitch.com is where you can catch any lives, previous lives. And I say previous lives because we watch Twitch exclusive stuff where we only watch on Twitch. So you can go watch it. It's free if you want. You know. Uh, usernames at the bottom of the screen. We also got Patreon where we post five days a week. Uh, we just started Game of Thrones. It's cool. I think it's my favorite show right now that we watching. Um, don't forget it's my birthday in like, what's today's date? About nine days. You know what I'm saying? So, if you want to come on Twitch, sub up for me. W gift. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Leave a super comment, super thanks on the on the video. You know what I'm saying? Anything's of that nature, or just you know sub in general. Anyway, this is Backpacker Ben inside London's most dangerous ghetto. Did you really do that, Backpacker Ben? Let's let's check it out. Copyright, copyright disclaimer, disclaimer under Section 107, 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. What's the first thing you think of when I say London? The Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, or deadly gangs carrying machetes? Well, we're gonna go there now and see what it's like in supposedly London's most dangerous areas. And I even spend the night in London's worst hotel. Let's do it. The hell, you in a coffin? <laughs> so then, I'm here in Plymouth, my home city. Let's head to the train station and see how much I get charged for a ticket to London. No doubt I'm about to get absolutely scammed. Let's find out. What's up? My fault. It was on mute. I said, what do y'all vote? What do y'all say? How much is that train ticket? From Plymouth to London? I have no idea how far it is, but just gauging off what he said... I'm going to say about $60. 60, 60 P. 60 pounds. What y'all say? Let me see. 60, 60. Okay, so I might be right. 60. All right, talk to me. Hundred and twenty pound. A buck twenty. Jeez. One way to London. What a rip off. Oh my God, I would have flew. <laughs> I'm flying from Plymouth to London. That's tough. One hundred twenty quid. It's like three hours or something. Last week in Tajikistan. On my own first class sleeper train, it came with meals included, a bed, toilet, you name it, I had it, it was pristine. And for 10 hours on that train, it cost me 14 quid. Here in the UK, 120 quid gets you a basic train to London. What a rip off, what a scam. Anyway, let's get on the train, get to London. Yeah, I would have drove. Three hours? How long is the drive? Probably like five, four or five hours? One tank of gas, <laughs> you know. But for the video, it's worth it probably. Twenty thousand views on a video of this length. How many views he got? Let me let's let's break it down. If he put the ads the way I put ads, <laughs> hey, twenty thousand views get you two hundred dollars. So. He got 80,000 views. He's good. It didn't matter. He's all right. Oh, 
Right then, welcome to London. Who made now, his money? The journey doesn't end here. We're now going to hop on another train and head to East London, where supposedly the dangerous places are. Let's get on the next train. It's a little Camry, yes. How much you pay for that? It's four hundred dollars. <laughs> yes, pretty expensive. Where are you from? Guyana. Guyana, the Caribbean. Guyana? Oh, the South Car America, Guyana. I want yeah. to go here. You must go. I really want but to go. Make sure you go with with people you know. Don't go by yourself. Why is that? I never even heard of that place. Guyana? South American Caribbean? It's not safe. No, but it better. You see when the seafarers, you know how countries stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You go with somebody, you know. Next year I'll go to Guyana. I promise. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. There you go, Guyana. I'm coming next year. The people seem friendly. Right, let's get this train. This is the. This is the. No, this is the. This is the, like the regular train, right? This is nice. Look at this. The only thing about America, why we don't have these type of seats, we got seats like, like that. You know what I, like that, um, because bed bugs and these these hold too much dirt. <coughs> if I see these type of seats in in America anywhere, I'm not sitting down. I'll stand up. I'm good. I'll be standing right here. <laughs> I'm not sitting on these. Not in America, at least. Not in France either. This is dope. Where is this? Now, when I announced I was coming to London, I put on Instagram, guys, tell me the most dangerous places in the area. Now, a lot of people said Tottenham, a lot of people said Peckham, a lot of people said Croydon, but most of you said Tower Hamlets is the roughest and dodgiest area of London. And that's where I am. Welcome to Tower Hamlets. Let's find well, out. Wendell was just in Tower Hamlets. It's the second time we've been here now. Now, what it's really like. But window wasn't with the mandem. <laughs> it looked like Ben from America with the mandem. <laughs> this doesn't look very dangerous. It looks very peaceful. <laughs> well, first impressions, guys. This looks all right. Sun's out here in the UK, rare sight. People chilling by the park. Seems fine. Looks like West Town in Chicago. This is the energy that I'm getting right. Let's ask a few people what it's like here in Tower Hamlets. Oh, there's someone here. Sorry, mate. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, mate, what's happening? What's it like here in Tower Hamlets? I've been told it's dodgy. <sighs> yeah, it's in nothing, mate. It's, what time is it? It's about 1.30 now. It's, this, is, this is peaceful time. It's, it's at night time when it gets quite rough around here. Night time? In yeah. what way? People come out from the bushes? <laughs> yeah, kind of like that, yeah. You see a lot of druggies. There's a hostel just there. Lots of smackheads. You get the rare occasion of stabbing and stuff like that. This that's dude was just that's... randomly sitting here. More gang war, you know? You're fine, man, you're safe. You want me to show you around? Yes, please, mate. Yeah. God. 100% he knows, dude. Guys, this is Abs, my mate, a fellow content oh, okay, 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 all right. <laughs> he's gonna show me around Tower Hamlets. Born and bred, mate. East London, East London, boys. East London. Let's have a little walk around. Welcome to Tower Hamlets. Hmm. 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 What's your name, yeah, mate? Uh, Ashif. Ashif? Yeah. You're from around here? Yes, mate. And what's it like in Tower Hamlets? It's alright. It's not that bad. Like, obviously, night times in there you hear like crackers and stuff screaming. But other than that, it's alright. It's alright? Yeah. You know what it is, yeah? It's the youth being led. I'm trying to come through do nighttime tours. By like the criminals, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's They've been like, influenced in the wrong way. Yeah, influenced in the wrong way. They just yeah. don't have the right like mentorship and stuff. Where are you from in London? South London. Chip and stuff. Where are you from in London? South London. <coughs> South London? Yeah. What do you think of the Tower Hamlets area compared to South London? Don't you know really what? know about it. Don't really come around here. I no? come around here, but you know what? It's different. It's a little bit more 
like round here's a bit, little bit more grimy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like even though we got grimy ends, like Tower Hamlets of East is a bit. But I see they get money around there. Everyone's got nice cars. So I yeah. See. But it's a lot different than South London. I'm going there next week. South London. Where, so. where in South London? Oh, Croydon. Croydon. Where? I don't know. I've never been. Good luck. No, you're right. Still, bro. <laughs> Good luck is crazy. <laughs> hey, I'm big on graffiti. I'm telling you, this is like old, like West Town. This is nice. Whoever did this, this is nice. Where are we at, mate? Yeah, so this is uh, right behind Brooklyn Ship. So this area is called Brooklyn Gut. So Gut means the, the heart of the area. And uh, so this park? area was quite dangerous back in the days. Lots of crime, so lots of robberies, point. drugs. You know all of that kind of stuff but if it was here back in the days it would have been really terrible i mean people do still come and chill here at night time but it's not as bad as back in the days mm, you know it's what changed I'm a little it's, bit it's changing a lot interesting place for a bathtub but which area in tower hamlets is known as the roughest area because we're right behind brick lane the tourist <coughs> area right yeah this is one of them uh you know what it is the thing is it's not just one area in Tower Hamlets is every single area in Tower Hamlets has a bad man mm. you know every single area has its uh, crime Ooh, okay. so this area has its crime here Poplar has its crime over there but it's more posh you know it's, I call it a posh ghetto posh ghetto posh ghetto yeah and you just called this the ghetto the ghetto right yeah and this is people how they live up yeah, here look. How the people's houses. look how run down these areas are bro. yeah but it's expensive to live here, isn't it? House, yeah, so you're looking at about, if you was to privately rent a two bedroom house flat here, which will be about two and a half to three grand a month. Bloody abandoned. This ain't the ghetto then. <laughs> That's too expensive. Who's living here? So is there a lot of council housing here or something? Because two and a half, three bands is insane for a ghetto. That's crazy for regular. <laughs> and then suitcase here, apps. Yeah. Do you need some boxes? <coughs> That's like Florida, good, bro. That could Miami. Charity, at least. Yeah, What's it like around here, mate? It's amazing. I could never move out of it. It's too amazing. I love it. Yeah. yeah it Are you? Feels like, it feels at home. Feels like home. You're originally from Bangladesh as well. Yeah, I'm from Bangladesh. Yeah. And why do you think it's got this bad reputation? It seems alright so far. It's the media. It's the media. Other than that. It's amazing. Every every area has the crime rate, innit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. East London, we just get put on the map a bit more of that crime. Right, and that was the ghetto, as Abs calls it, right behind Brick Lane. I'll show you the difference now. A stone's throw up here is Brick Lane, which is super touristy. And yeah, people come here for like market hunts and stuff. This looks nice. Let me show you the difference, what it looks like. I guess because it's proximity to this area, what makes it expensive. Uh, this is the I'm sorry. I don't know if y'all just seen what I seen. Brother is in a full Nike Tech suit. Full. I mean, top and bottom. With a little handheld fan. Bro, take your jacket. Do something different. You must think got no undershirt under there. Hold on. That's what Look. it looks like. Look at this guy. Look at them on them in the full Tech suit. With a fan. Take off. Like you, you're contra you're a walking contradiction to, to I'm hot right now. Like what are you doing? You're in a Nike Tech and bro is in shorts above the knees and a t-shirt. Like what is it hot or is it cold right now in the UK? Like what is? Somebody let me know what's going on. This is the area called Brick Lane. So this strip is called Brick Lane, and we are outside the Truman Brewery, famous Truman Brewery. It's got long history, guys. And also, in the Truman Brewery, we have a food store. So if you pan the camera around, you can see that the food store there. There it is. Plenty of food places to eat inside, so we can go. Oh, let's that's cool. Head into this market, and let's get a meal. Let's see what Abs recommends here on Brick Lane. Let's go. Oh, wow, it's like street vendors. We got something similar, or, or I'm talking about we in Chicago. It, there's something similar to this, but it's more expensive, I would believe. It's like an It's very spicy, mate. Really? Yeah. It's nicer. 
workshop. Thank you so much, brother. So, was okay? Yeah, lovely. Okay. It's like being back in Dhaka. Oh, thank you. Take care, mate. Thanks, man. Thank See you, you, mate. Bye. Bells, how's it going, mate? I'm just paying attention. See you, mate. Bye. Bells, how's it going, mate? Nice, bro. You're I'm from here? Like, um, yeah, actually, this is the road I'm here. Yeah? yeah, yeah I'm Born and bred in Tower Hamlets? Yeah. Nice one. How is it around here? Um, for us, for us, it's home. So for us, it's home. Um, everything, everything. It means everything. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. we grew up here, we saw the struggles. Now we believe, yeah, we inherited this. What do you think of the reputation? A lot of people say Tower Hamlets is, you know, a dodgy area. This is what I feel. This is my view, yeah? Yeah. Because it did start from this place. So before, when everything, all the drugs and stuff came in, it did come from this place. So this is why, yeah, we are labeled as, yeah. But you think, you know, the reputation is, you know, maybe too overblown? A bit. Yeah? A Does bit. it change at night time? Everyone's saying it changes at night time. No, whoever's going there, you know, some people might think, oh, if we go, they will get robbed or something like that. But everyone who comes here, they enjoy the night. It's a good night. Mm. None of that, none, none of that. That was probably before, yeah. but we're still labeled that. Yeah. So now everything's changed. You go and see, it's a mixture of culture, <coughs> mixture. Before, obviously, no one bothered coming, but now. I believe you, man. It's, it's called gentrification. All hoods that were hoods in the 90s, early 2000s, and before, they're being gentrified now. So it's a good little mixture. But don't get it don't get it messed up. It's people still be plotting. <laughs> like you could go to let's give an example in Chicago. You could go to Humble Park. Humble Park is a Latin area, Puerto Rican Puerto Rican heavy king, heavy S D area. And it was it really like that. It was really like that back in the day. Early two thousands. They got a thing called the Puerto Rican Parade. If you was this color, you might want to think about going there. Cause they gonna get on you for sure. I'm all done. They gonna get on you like that. They, they gonna get on you. So me, you know, I, I went a couple times, but I stayed on the southwest side. You know what I'm saying? Next to the no, what's yeah, yeah, yeah. South. No, no, no. It was the. It was the part closest to division and 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 um. And uh. Dang, I ain't been in Chicago in so long. I forgot the streets. I think I'm right. Southwest side where the SDs are because they were more accepting of... You know what I'm saying? But the point is, it's being gentrified right now. If you go on the main street on Division, you see condos, nice little condos. You see people that are the gentrifiers walking around. And, and you would like, oh man, this looks up and coming. But as soon as nightfall comes, you don't see those faces no more. <laughs> You don't see those places. You don't see nobody really walking around but the people that's really, you know, trying to be pushed out. It's impossible, though, to push. I don't mean, gentrification, it works, but, like, certain areas, you're not, it's not going to happen. Not fully, ever. It's, it's, it's a very unique place. Brother, thank you so much. Absolute legend. Go on. Appreciate that, mate. Hope it helps. Yeah. Inshallah. Thank you, bro. Thank Inshallah. you. Inshallah. Guys, I've been joined by Sam. He's not from East London, he's from South London. Where in South London, mate? Hello, mate. Yeah, you're at a uh, little town called Rose Hill. Like the time out. EPO stretch. Oh, I went to Chicago Grill in London. You know about mild sauce? I almost took offense to that. <laughs> I'm a Chicago native. Of course I know about mild sauce. And I and and you need a Chicagoan to let you know if that's real mild sauce. They can call it mild sauce. But until I put a taste bud to it, it ain't mild sauce. You feel me? You had a sauce that's labeled mild sauce. When I get there, I'll taste it and I'll let you know if it's mild sauce. And until then, hell no. <laughs> Between like by Mitchell and Morden and the Northern Line, by them sort of ways. Okay. So when people said, I'm going to London. No, let's, I'm not done. Until then, it's mild of sauce. When I put my taste bud to it, I'll determine if it stays mild of sauce or mild sauce. They all said to me, right, wear a stab vest, yeah, be yeah. careful and all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. But like, you know, taste, I mean, look at this, mate. It's all right. 
like anywhere, mate, though, isn't it? Like everywhere has mumbo sauce. Uh, mumbo sauce. That is a. Uh, that's not us. That's not us. That's DC. Mumbo sauce is DC, but they say it's similar to mild sauce, and it's not. I've tasted it. It doesn't taste anything near. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But you know, that's it's not. It's not. That's a different strain of sauce. <laughs> that's a different strain. You know what I'm saying? Mambo, like, like, mild sauce is top level. You know what I'm saying? I miss it, first of all. And I'm, I, I didn't got hungry now that we're talking about it. Uh, I used to go to this place called Chicken Shack. It's in Evanston. It's in the first, like, it goes Chicago. It goes downtown, the north side of Chicago. The furthest north side that's still in Chicago is uh, Rogers Park. That's where I'm from. And the Evanston, I was born in Evanston, though, but I was raised in Rogers Park. Then we moved back to Evanston. We just, I lived on a border for a long time. Whatever. It's in, it's in Evanston. It's called Chicken Shack. We go there. <laughs> it come with, fr it, they lay a piece of bread at the bottom. They put the fries and then they put the chicken bits. You, it's called, let me get an order of chicken bits. You want the mild sauce on it or on the side? On it. <laughs> and on the side, just in case I need a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and you know, that's how I get down. I ate that about, woo, I, man, listen. It was a point where I almost ate that every day. And we all subject here, but talk to me. My fault. Has bad areas. Everywhere has good areas. <coughs> just take one notion of a of a city and run with that. Like, exactly. Like yeah. Anywhere, mate. Do you know what I mean? Anywhere you're gonna get bad. You got bad areas in Plymouth. You got bad there areas is, in yeah. fucking anywhere. Yeah. You know. So it's good. Good and bad. You got to have the balance. You know. Guys, listen. Tower Hamlets is a large area. It's big. Different communities in different areas, but we just spent predominantly the time in the Bangoli area because Abs is Bangoli himself. He knew a few people who to talk to and you know, that was their opinion on Tower Hamlets. And you know, mixed opinions. They, a lot of people saying, come back at night time, it changes. You know, sun's out, people are in a good mood. There are some good stories from some friendly people here in Tower Hamlets. So, um, you know, it's got some crime stats and stuff, but a lot of places have in the UK. We're now going to a place which a lot of people warn me about as well. It's called Newham. And supposedly, Newham. it's one of the most dangerous boroughs. Newham. Is that a borough? Yeah. In London. We've got a guy meeting, waiting for us. Let's go there now and get a little tour of Newham. I ain't gonna lie, Backpacker Ben be going outside. He be down, he be, he be in it with the mandem. Not by yourself guessing, he be in here. I can salute that energy. This, this is it? Hola, nice to meet you, Hola. Obviously, I've come, I'm from Plymouth. Okay, that's really far. Yeah, it's far away. But a lot of people said, when I come to London, yeah. apparently it's got a high knife crime situation there. Um, is that true? No, that is true. Oh, you're coming in now? Yeah. I didn't realise. Yeah, that's true, guys. <laughs> I think there should be more programs, which is actually something that we're trying to do here at Inside Success. Yeah, what is your programme? Tell so me. What we do is we support young people from 16 to 24 knife crime gang violence and mental health. Is there a bad problem at the moment with knife yeah, crime in London? Yeah, it's a really big problem in London and yeah, hopefully it can get a fix. It's going to take a lot of work by the community and the government, but maybe one day we can reach a point where the knife crimes have stopped. Hopefully it will happen. I like an activist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, what's he, do you have an Instagram page or anything? Yeah, guys, our Instagram is... Let's check it out. No, we don't want to know this. He said, what is yours? Go back. Hopefully, Ola. Do you have an Instagram page Do or anything? you have an Instagram page? Guys, our Instagram is... Let's check it out. Inside Success. So we have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, anything. Let me go see, man. Let me just do a little bit of research. Let's see here. Inside Success. In, inside Success. Six, oh, it's you. Okay. And get popped right up. Fifteen point one. Okay. 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 What she say her name was? This how you do research. <laughs> and yeah, you guys can check it out online. If you're interested in the 
interested in helping donate, yeah. it would be really appreciated. Perfect. Let's put an end to knife crime, eh? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Welcome to Newham here in East London. I'm with two locals here that are going to show me around. Introduce yourself, fellas. So you're here with King Kai Media. That's K-I-N-G, K-A-Y-A-A Media, all one word. And here we are in East London. Yeah, and I go by the name of Reed Solo. Uh, I make music myself. And yeah, just today, just come here to support, literally. And yeah, that's about it, man. Literally. Nice one. Yeah. So, so where are we guys? So Ben, welcome to Carpenter's Estate. So Carpenter's Estate is actually a working class district of Stratford Newham. Um, it's a tower block with about, I'd say about 200 families living in this one block. So I'll turn the camera around. So people are living here in Newham. And you guys grew up here? Uh, that's correct, yeah. born and bred in Newham General. Um, went to school here, um, educated here, had my formative <coughs> here, and then become an adult around here. And, um, um, I've moved out and found my own place now, but yeah, this is still a place where I pull home. Perfect. Do right and guys, there. I was talking to them off camera and I was saying on Instagram, I put a story out and I got told by everyone, don't go to Tower Hamlets, it's dangerous, but that seemed all right. But a lot of people said, do not go to Newham without someone showing you around. But you know, I'm with two locals, they're gonna show me around. Now, uh, it's better safe than sorry. If you're not from there, you gotta have the you gotta have the like, especially if I go, because you know, just if I go, I gotta have the pass. I gotta have some. I gotta got. I gotta have locals with me, especially at the time frame that I want to go. I'm trying to go when it get at dusk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But what is that reputation? Is it you know overblown? Is it all right? Now I feel like if you mind your own business in Newham, you're all right. That's uh, everywhere. Things yeah. don't, thing, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say things don't happen. Things do definitely happen. But at the same time, I feel like if you mind your business, you're all right. And a lot of I would say the same about Chicago. And the most part, people overblow Chicago. But if you really minded your business, ain't nothing going to happen to you. You got to be fully minding your business. Don't be, don't be a brave citizen trying to stop something. Mind your business. Mind your business, because in Chicago, if you try to intervene or do something, like the, the full-blown attention goes to you. Yes, you have intervened, but you saved a life, but you don't, you might lose yours at that point. Like, don't do it. Do not do it. You're going to make it worse. Of successful entrepreneurs, go-getters, sporting individuals have come from this sort of place. However, Newham is a concrete jungle, so if you get mixed in the wrong crowd, I'm going to be totally honest, it will lead to fatal consequences. Mm -hmm. As in, you would get time in at Her Majesty's pleasure, or say His Majesty's pleasure at the moment, because unfortunately the Queen's passed away. And also, I'd also say um, you'd be involved in, how can I say, gang activities. Gangs and stuff around here? Yeah, it, it's quite prevalent. Let's check it out then. Let's go. I don't know anything about Newham. I'll be honest, I didn't even know it existed until I put it on Instagram story. And maybe there's people watching this video that don't know anything about it as well. So, my new mates are going to show me around Newham and we're going to check it out. Yeah, welcome to Newham. Getting robbed. Getting robbed. Getting robbed. He doesn't know where he's at. He doesn't know where he's at. Trust me. Hey, oh, funny geezer. Jesus Christ. So, are people living in this ground floor where it's all caged up? Yeah, people still living here, unfortunately, yeah. So, the windows are caged up, but they're still living inside? I wouldn't say families. I'd say maybe like uh, drug users and whatnot that can break you and just set up nests. But yeah, yeah. And here people are still living in here, as you can clearly see behind. Yeah, there's people this living all the way up to the top, here. but the ground floor yeah. is all caged up around the entire building. That's a front door? This looks... A... You're from Tottenham, yeah? No, 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 no I said no. avoid Tottenham. Uh, <laughs> avoid Tottenham? Yeah, yeah. Everyone said to me, avoid Newham. Are you all from Newham? Yeah, <coughs> you're from there, you're not going to... Yeah. I don't know. If, yeah, yeah, it depends on you're telling guys to avoid new in a minute. I guess there's certain areas, there's yeah. certain postcodes you might want to avoid. Yeah. Because yeah, they call it postcode. Yeah, that's it. Postcode wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, mind your business yeah. and live your life. You know what I mean? So just mind your business. It seems like that's the number one rule of any hood. Mind your business. Any any neighborhood that got a that got like. Or city that got like violence associated with it, they just tell you mind your business, you'll be good. It's true. 
it, you, it's more like it's less likely for you to get into anything if you just mind your business. That's it. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. You know. Nothing happens. Yeah, exactly. That's all it is. I feel like sound. I feel like the real thing is yeah, just find like a specific like group of guys to be with. Like us now, we got a boss and stuff. So like, yeah, and and well, don't waste your time getting mixed up in bullshit. Because it's now more than ever, all this gang shit is thriving, it's all accessible, everyone can see it, and everyone thinks it's something they want to follow and something they want to do because it gets clout or whatever the f yeah, is yeah, yeah. Yes. But nowadays it's, it's even thinner thread, like pretending to do that and acting like you're someone you're not can just end horribly. Which team do you not support? West Ham. West, all West Ham fans? Football, team. football, team. football, football yeah. But you're a United fan as well. Yeah, but you're always United. It's serious at the moment. I know. I'm rooting for Arsenal, unfortunately. When I said, listen, look, we come for YouTube. But Ben, remember, that's how it starts. And then, oh. What ends you from? So when. So you're. Oh, so you're from around here? Okay. Then we start roughing you up, you know what I'm saying? What you got for me? What you got for me? Hey, give me 10 star jobs. But yeah, no, honestly, in your room, it's about your approach. If you come across as um, humble, understanding, and, and you've got a reason to approach somebody, you've got no issue. 100%. You got to come humble, though. If you and somebody else, you got to be humble. If you, That's why I always say, like, y'all look at, um, at, uh, 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 at, um, what's his name? Dang, the Australian dude. He be going across. I watch him all the time. Dang, I just forgot bro name. That's tough. Well, whatever. He's always in Australian hoods, and he comes across because he he from the hood, but he know like this is not my hood, so I gotta come across humble. If you ever see somebody that's not adept to this situation, and they by themselves, you see they get scared and they don't come across humble, and then that's when they get picked on. Remember, dude, that was in Liverpool with his camera, and they was picking on him because he ain't come across humble. He came across as something else, so they they got on him. <laughs> Get away, mate. Absolutely. You're going to let that happen, mate. What's going on? I'm just a humble driver, man. I'm too old for that road rage kind of stuff. <laughs> you were just telling me a story. Yeah, so um, back in 2006, it was the last time ago now, isn't it? And uh, foolishly, <coughs> I was quite young and naive. I believe I was probably about 12 or 13 back then. I actually uh, pulled out my phone, unfortunately. And um, they said, what phone was that? I said, yeah, it's not a phone for you, mate. They said, what do you mean? So, um, lo and behold, uh, one of them tried to grab me, pushed him away, and uh, the, the second youth pulled out a blade. Uh, when he produced the blade, Spain. he said, no, give me your phone. I was reluctant, but I didn't want to lose my life over a phone, so I gave him the yeah, phone. Yeah, of course, man. Let's give it over. Yeah, I handed it over, and then um, I said, listen, look, you might as well give me my SIM card back, because I had all my numbers yeah, in there. Yeah. I didn't write any of them down, yeah. so I was like, yeah, at least leave my numbers. So, um, yeah, he'd, he'd taken the phone. Did he give you a SIM, SIM card as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, Cheeky bugger gave me my SIM card back. <laughs> what a polite robbery. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get my phone. Oh, that's politer than them. <laughs> <laughs> that's and tough. We saw things we shouldn't have seen, get me. So we're in a different part of Newham now. It's a bit more rough down these ends. So much madness is happening here, around here. Do you get what I'm trying to say? This area right here as well. Um, I don't want to say I don't want to say too much, but you all type if you if you if you're thinking about all type of activities happening around here. Happen down the alley. Yeah, no, this alley around this area, all type of activities happening around here. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But at the same time, you get me. It's home as well, and what makes you will break you as well at the mm. same time. You know. Well, then that was our little time walking around Newham. Like I said, I had no idea about this place until people told me not to go here. I felt, you know, I thought it was all right. Met some cool I'm people. I'm not going to lie. I like that energy out of you, Ben. They told me not to go, so I'm going to go. That's good energy. Cool. Obviously, it might have been a bit different, me walking around with just a camera, solo. But, yeah, no, I wouldn't you know, recommend walking around with a camera by yourself. Would I recommend it? Yeah, you need some locals, honestly. There you go. So if you fans come to Newham to make a video anyway, you need some locals to be around. And guys, honestly, legends for uh, showing me around. Really I do appreciate that. Pleasure, man. That's Oh, yes, boys. Yes. yes. Maybe one day we go on a little travel together. Yeah, I want to travel. I definitely want to go on a travel. See different abs. You two abs. 
you guys show us like what's going on. Ads. I just want to, you know, the backpack car. I'll show, well. no, yeah. show you real world, mate. I'll show you reality. You know. So there you go, guys. I'm gonna link everyone's here's oh, Instagrams, yeah. YouTube's down below. Go check them out. Show some. Is that support. it? How much was that? And that was Tower Hamlets and Newham. They're now gonna drop me to the hotel. I've booked potentially. Oh, this is the small hotel. I want to see this too, Loki. Hostel slash hotel in all of London. Cost twenty nine pound. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm in for a rough night. Guys, 29 pounds a day for London? I might, you know what I'm saying? Let's get out of here. Let's go. Oh, butter my ass. What a day. What, Ben? <laughs> ben, no diddy. What did you just say? Oh, butter my ass. What? I'm not even gonna lie, Ben. That brought a tear to my eye that you just said that. I don't know, because I've never heard that before. Like a biscuit? Like a... a day. I am absolutely shagged. It's been walk around London for about seven hours. All I need now is a nice clean bed and a nice clean hotel. However, we don't do luxury on this channel, as you know. Butter my... Death. We keep it budget, we keep it real. <coughs> Book this hostel. Hotel okay. for 28 quid a night here in London, absolute bargain. But from the photos, what I've seen online, it essentially looks like a coffin with other coffins in the room. Let's get in there now and see what it's like. Parcels, so there's no check in desk or anything. They basically send you a code, and then you type that code into the door, and then apparently you type another code in now, and then you apparently see your bed. So let's see. Oh, a mirror in the elevator. Is creepy. Here we go. It looked cool so far, though. Clean. Okay. Gotta do the code again. And then safe code it. The cafeteria. Bloody hell. Where's the bedrooms? It's not bad it's so far. How do you open these doors, sorry? Do you know? Oh uh, yeah, cover and the trauma on the left. It's the same code as the front door? No. Different code? Yes. Oh, I didn't get an email for that. Let me check. Oh, that's yeah. decent. It's not bad. I couldn't do it because of my size, but I, it's not bad. You can't have no SEX in here. You gotta, you gotta, like, not missionary at least. That's tough. I know there's been some couples in here that be on that freaky stuff that try. It ain't hot, this. Jesus, look at this. It is like a proper coffin in here. It is boiling. Boiling hot. Yeah, I would believe well, so. This is what, 28 pound a night gets you here in Hackney, London. Not bad. These are boring. If you're on a budget, this is not bad, though. If I'm going to be outside all the time anyway, see, I snore. So I couldn't even, you know what I'm saying? You can only lay on your back in here. If I've got to lay on my back, I'm definitely snoring. Let me know. Do you? Seven a.m. This looks like you had a terrible sleep in here. Now we're good. 
How was it? Oh, good morning. Now, you'd probably be surprised to hear this. I'm probably a bit annoyed. You're probably excited to see me suffer in that little coffin last night. But you'd be surprised to hear I had a great night's sleep. It was a bit hot, but overall, I had a solid nine hours. So yeah, I'm buzzing with that. There you go, you don't need comfort, you don't need luxury. You just need a basic bed and a wooden coffin. And that's all you need. Any well, I'm glad to hear that. Ben. Anyway, gonna end things here, guys. Not doing it. TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm gone.